chapter 6 simple equations simple equations an equation is a mathematical statement which states that two expressions are equal for example first x minus 3 is equal to 8 second x plus 4 is equal to minus x minus 2 properties of an equation 1 if same quantity is added to both the sides of an equation the sums are equal for example x is equal to 8 implies x plus p is equal to 8 plus p 2. If same quantity is subtracted from both the sides of an equation the remainders are equal for example x is equal to 8 implies x minus a is equal to 8 minus a 3. If both the sides of an equation are multiplied by the same quantity the products are equal for example x is equal to 8 implies a into x is equal to 8 into a if both the sides of an equation are divided by the same quantity, the equations are equal. For example, x is equal to 8 implies x divided by a is equal to 8 divided by a. To solve an equation. To solve an equation means to find the values of unknown algebraic quantities used in equation. For this, we have to use the any one of the above properties to get the required answer. For example, 1 solve the following equations first x plus 4 is equal to 7 which implies x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 7 minus 4 subtracting 4 from both the sides it implies x is equal to 3 the answer second 3x is equal to 9 it implies 3x upon 3 is equal to 9 upon 3 dividing both sides by 3 which gives x is equal to 9 the answer problems based on simple equations in these problems first of all we have to obtain an equation for an unknown quantity and then to solve it for that unknown quantity property of equality we know that an open sentence containing the sign of equality is called an equation let us study few of the properties of equality one reflexive property every number is equal to itself example 12 is equal to 12, p is equal to p and so on. 2. Symmetric property. Within two numbers, if the first number is equal to the second, then the second is equal to the first. If x, y are two numbers and x is equal to y, then y is equal to x. Example, 3 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 2, hence 5 plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 4. 3. Transitive property. In three numbers, if the first number is equal to the second number and second number is equal to the third, then the first number is equal to the third. If A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C for any three numbers A, B, C. Examples. 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. 15 is equal to 5 into 3. Therefore, 5 plus 10 is equal to 3 into 5. 4. If a number is equal to each of two numbers separately, then these two numbers are equal to one another. Given any three numbers x, a, b and if x is equal to a and x is equal to b, then a is equal to b. Example, 12 is equal to 8 plus 4, 12 is equal to 7 plus 5. Therefore, 8 plus 4 is equal to 7 plus 5. 5. Consider the equality 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. We have 5 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 9 plus 7 9 plus 7 is equal to 9 plus 7 16 is equal to 16 which is true we observe that it is true now let us add the same number say 7 to both sides of the equality we can add any number this can be verified with a negative number or a rational number from the above example we conclude the following addition property if the same number is added to both sides of an equality, the equality is not altered. If A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C, where A, B, C are any three numbers. 6. Subtracting a number is same as adding its negative or A minus B is equal to A plus minus B. Therefore, rule for subtraction is stated on the lines of the addition property. Subtraction property if the same number is subtracted to from both sides of an equality, the equality is not altered. If A is equal to B, then A minus C is equal to B minus C, 
where A, B, C are any three numbers. 7. Consider the equality 18 minus 5 is equal to 13. We observe that it is true. Now let us multiply the same number, say minus 4, to both sides of the equality. We have minus 4 multiplied by 18 minus 5 is equal to minus 4 multiplied 13. Minus 4 multiply 18 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 4 into 13. Minus 4 into 18 plus minus 4 into minus 5 is equal to minus 4 into 13, the distributive property. Minus 72 plus 20 is equal to minus 52. Minus 52 is equal to minus 52, which is true. This can be verified by multiplying it with a positive number also. From the above example, we conclude the following multiplication property. Multiplication property, if both sides of an equality are multiplied by the same number, the equality is not altered. If A is equal to B, then AC is equal to BC, where A, B, C are any three numbers. 8. Since dividing by a non-zero number is same as multiplying by its reciprocal, A upon C is equal to A into 1 upon C, C is not equal to 0. Therefore, division property is stated on the lines of multiplication property. Division property. If both sides of an equality are divided by the same non-zero number, then the equality is not altered. If A is equal to B, then A upon C is equal to B upon C, where A, B, C are any three numbers and C is not equal to 0. An important rule to be remembered in solving equations is whenever a change occur on one side of an equation, the same change be made on the other side to maintain the equality between the sides. Solution of simple equations. To solve a simple equation, the terms containing unknown equality should be collected on the left hand side of the equation and constants on the other side. Then the coefficient of the unknown quantity should be reduced to unity. Properties of inequality. On the number line, the greater number always lies to the right of the lesser one. That is, on a number line, if x lies to the right of y, then x is greater than y and y is less than x. 1. Consider 6 less than 8. Adding 1 upon 3 to both sides, LHS is equal to 6 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 19 upon 3 is equal to 6 into 1 upon 3. RHS is equal to 8 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 25 upon 3 is equal to 8 1 upon 3. These points could be plotted on the given number line. Since 6 is less than 8, 8 lies to the right to 6. After adding 1 upon 3 to both sides, 8 1 by 3 lies to the right of 6 1 by 3. Therefore, 6 1 by 3 is less than 8 1 by 3. Therefore, if 6 is less than 8, then 6 plus 1 upon 3 is less than 8 plus 1 upon 3, the first equation. Consider 2 is greater than minus 6. Adding minus 2 both to both sides, LHS is equal to 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0. RHS is equal to minus 6 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 8. Since 2 is greater than minus 6, 2 lies to the right to minus 6. After reading minus 2 to both sides, 2 plus minus 2 is equal to 0 lies to the right of minus 6 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 8. Therefore, 0 is greater than minus 8. Therefore, if 2 is greater than minus 6, then 2 plus minus 2 is greater than minus 6 plus minus 2, the second equation. Note that adding minus 2 is same as subtracting 2. From first and second, we have the first property. Property 4. If three numbers are related in such a way that the first is less or greater than the second and the second is less or greater than the third, then the first is less or greater than the third. This is called the transitive property. Property 4. If A and B are of the same sign and A is less than B or A is greater than B, then A upon C is greater than B upon C or A upon C is less than B upon C. If reciprocals are taken to quantities of the same sign on both sides of an equality, then the order of the inequality is changed. To solve simple inequations, 
terms containing unknown quantity should be collected on left side and constants on the right side. Then the coefficient of the unknown quantity should be reduced to unity.